the Molly Palm. What's up, Raw fam? So today's video is gonna be strictly about Molly's. We're gonna go off, we're gonna go to Pet Supermarket. My buddy Salone ordered me these freaking epic vampire Molly's. Let's go look at them. All right, guys, we got our star bride bucket. We're here at Pesuma. Let's do it. What's up, my man Salone? Just walking by. How you, how you doing, buddy? Give me some. Give me some. Give me, give me some pound, buddy. So, uh, I, you, you get the fish in that, that we talked about? Yeah, they're still here. Bro, are they? Oh my goodness, guys. That look at those things. And those, what are, what are those things called? Vampire sword tails. Vampire sword tails, guys. And are those like a part of like the Molly family? Like they are. Yeah, they, they're, yeah, they're they are. Bearers, yeah. They're live bears. And um, basically, we are here to start the Molly pond. We're gonna get a couple of these guys. Um, these things are really cool. Where are they? they those little sword tail vampire guys. They're so epic. You you guys have no idea. Look at those little mollies. Guys, I love these mollies so freaking much. I could literally just take all of them home. Hi guys. What's up? Have you guys ever seen mollies go that crazy? Oh my goodness. All right, so we're here to get four mollies today. Four, just four. And we got to make them cool. Okay, buddy? All right. So what, what's, let's look at the coolest. I, I like that one right there. I already know it. The back one. Yep. Oh, yep. He knows. He knows. He knows. That's a, oh. He's quick. All right, that's one. That was so simple. It's not even funny. Look at that guy. One of the regular vampires. Like one of the big fat females. You got one in there? Oh, and you got a pineapple? Yeah, I got the uh, albino right here. Albino pineapple. Very cool. You got her? Female. Nice. Very nice. And no, he jumped right out. He jumped out? Yeah. Whoa, did you guys see that? All right, throw her in. That's a fat female, bro. What her bottom fin is, see how long his is? Uh -huh. That's a female. Oh my Smash. God, then those are gonna be epic babies. Yeah. That is very cool. All right, buddy, thank you so much. Throw them in the Star Brights bucket. Those are our new babies. And uh, we're gonna throw those right there. And uh, now it's time to get a couple of breeder mollies, true mollies. Um, something that's gonna make some funky colors and some really cool things. Let me see. Woo. Perfect, throw her in. I like the way you did that too. You could do that for the next ones. Perfect, you ready? <laughs> and then uh, you want to get a male? Getting them. Nice. You guys got a big fin up top? Yeah, I can see that. You're good. I see it. Yeah. Show me that guy. That thing is beautiful. Oh, yeah. Throw him in. Epic. I like it. You really say she's gonna have baby soon? Oh yes, she is. Pregnant. Throw her in, big old pregnant girl. <clears throat> oh yeah, and that's not a balloon, Molly. That's just a regular pregnant. Yep. Big girl. Yeah, this one here too. Big. Throw her in, beautiful, and that's good for me, buddy. That's epic. All right, guys. So Pet Supermarket is doing it awesome today. We got a bunch of cool little. Molly's, if you guys want to see us come back, we get some big old minnows. We could get some uh, some of these guys. I think these are just a little bit smaller of regular Molly's. Sword tails. Um, we got some regular sword tails. We got some Molly's. We got some balloon Molly's. Whatever you guys want to see, we'll do. Thank you, buddy. Very cool. <laughs> Waiting for the back. Thank you, buddy. You and guys, we got our fish. Let's do it. I'm gonna explain real quick what what how how long it actually takes for these guys to uh, to breed and how, wait how big can these these mollies actually get? 
Mollies, I've seen females anywhere up to three to three and a half inches. It's really huge. big. And a full grown female can give birth to 50 to 100 babies every month and a half. Every month and a half. And you actually breed Mollies yourself. Mm -hmm. And yep. uh, I've, I've talked to him multiple times on how to actually do it. What's the grass I actually need? What, what it's was... called guppy grass. Gu it's or called hornwort. called guppy grass. Um, I got to get some of that. I got to find out where the heck I could do that and uh, get it. But uh, we got these beautiful vampire how, how rare are these how, how what what is they're pretty hard to find um usually they're i've often seen them for twenty dollars or more a piece and they're very difficult to breed to get them to keep that color and fin uh -huh. type mm -hmm. and uh these things are freaking beautiful though like i'm gonna be real even the pineapples and those little guys and that you said they're they're albinos albino pineapple swords yep. Al alpine albino pineapple swords and what are the the vampires are those any type of albino or no? they're also albino they're also albino mm -hmm. so that means most albino with with the fish i've seen in the past they grow really slow right yep albinos generally grow about half the speed of their regular ones but once those guys get a little bit bigger they'll be popping babies out how much did you say every single month every month guys yep. we will literally have babies new babies on the channel every single month with just these guys right here those pineapple swords should be getting close to having babies right hopefully i mean yeah i, I think they're they're getting pretty close and um we actually picked up a couple already pregnant mollies you see those guys Oh yeah, give it a week or two and you'll get babies from them. A week or two, and uh, the biggest thing to, to actually getting these guys, we need to get them, uh, we definitely need to get that grass, but we need to get them in a comfortable location to where they will actually breed. Now for the moment all of you guys have been waiting on, it's finally time, whoa, 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 whoa. relax, everybody. relax. Finally time to take our beautiful new additions and put them inside of the mini pond. Uh, very cool. Uh, we're going to just put these little guys in there, let them acclimate, and then uh, they should be ready to go. So just let them in there for about 10, 15 minutes. All right, guys, so I'm sorry about the noise. I told you guys a couple days ago we have a family party across the street. Uh, we're going to basically just take these little guys. Hi, guys. And uh, we can take some of the water from the, inside this pond. Where is it at? We can uh, gently add a little bit. There you go. Now they have enough to just kind of swim around. Let them relax. Let's go grab this other. Oh. Sorry, Starbright bucket. Come here, buddy. Oh, all of you guys, you guys are so pretty. What's up, guys? What's up? Yes, guys, we got some beautiful koi and some beautiful mollies. All right, guys, so we have the mollies. It is time to put those little guys. Got to mix them in there, too. Oh, my goodness, guys. And today was the day that our empire was born. And uh, I was already acclimating these guys. I just kind of wanted to do a little extra so I could uh, take them out one by one. Let me go get my little net, and then uh, we can put these little guys in. Look, you guys see the little red ones? Hi. And uh, in a couple of days, I'm going to get these mollies out of here. Um, the goal for this whole thing was to make this little pond right here, the molly pond, but we have the gar, the red tail. So uh, guys, we got to we gotta think about doing something. We got to get the gar, the red tail out of there, or we got to do something uh, with the mollies because uh, I really like them. So, hmm. All right, guys, so we have our little mollies, and it's time to get these guys out of here. So uh, which one should we do first, guys? I think we should do one of the... Pregnant white mollies. Come here, baby. Yes, you're so pretty. We're going to take this little girl, put her inside the mini mini pond. Hi, baby. Welcome. Welcome. You're so pretty. And uh, these mollies are going to fit in so well. Um, the next one I think we should do, this guy right here. Come here. This big male breeder molly. Very pretty. I want to show you guys this little guy. Get my hands wet. Welcome, buddy. You're so pretty. He's doing awesome. I have a whole school. He's doing awesome. I have a whole school of mollies right there. And then this is the female that is going to have babies soon. That's why I have to make a tank for her because we want her to have babies. And uh, that would be so cool, wouldn't it? So uh, let's get her out of there. 
Come on. And uh, this is the female version of the molly you just saw. <laughs> Only fish that I'm actually going to be putting in here um, into this mini pond is actually going to be the legit mollies. Um, these guys I'm going to keep overnight. I'm going to go buy a tank. And uh, yeah, that I can't do that. I don't. I don't want anything to happen to them. Hmm. Let's just finish the the mollies out. Right here, babies. Right there. Good job. Good job. You guys are awesome. Um, hopefully, we can go off and get a big enough of a tank to where we don't uh, we don't need to get multiple tanks. Like maybe like a 25 gallon, and then like a 10 gallon, something like that. So then we could have a breeder tank and a regular tank. All right, Raw fam. So that is going to be the end of the video. I love you, Raw fam. Those mollies are going to do a okay. Those sword tail molly looking things, those vampire sword tails. Oh my gosh, guys. How cool are they? Along with the pineapples, they're going to be a okay. We're going to get a tank for them. That'll be tomorrow's video. I love you, Raw fam, and I will see you later. Peace!